I think every generation of Marine wonders whether or not the next generation of Marine can be entrusted with the security of our nation and the legacy of our core. New breed, old breed, it doesn't matter as long as it's the Marine breed. Pride and discipline is etched in the 3rd Battalion logo and we will continue to develop Marines that have that bedrock of discipline. The training has not changed. Integrated Training Company is doing the same thing, hiking the same hills, uh, conquering the Reaper here in a couple of weeks. They're doing all of those same things that a regular training company would do. We are demanding more of them in terms of leadership and their ability to decide to communicate with a bias for intelligent action. Lethality should be directly correlated, not necessarily with physicality, but speed of decision. I would certainly say that there's an excitement in the air. Marines have been known for a long history, of almost 250 years of tackling challenges and overcoming obstacles, and this is no different. Marines as a whole, we have a warrior mindset, and McMap is used to embody that. Uh, just because you're not on the front line doesn't mean that you don't get to participate in that warrior spirit. Won't mind any weapon, just because we're out of rounds, the fight's not over yet. We have to teach them the basics before they can start to actually engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's a difference between us and the enemy, and it's our professionalism as a warfighter. We can go to war and we do it in a professional manner. So whether that's taking it to the enemy or winning hearts and minds, you still have to embody what that means. The physical aspect is easy. Do pull-ups to get better. Crunches, you can do crunches to get better. But it takes a little bit more time to get mentally strong and to get past mental fatigue. So telling your body that you can go even when your body's telling you that you can't go, that's something that has to be trained and that doesn't just happen overnight. It has to be constantly trained in order for your mind to catch up with your body. Our initial job here is to essentially qualify all the recruits as a basic swimmer. And then from there, the ones that cannot swim or haven't grown up around pools is the, the main part is the instruction is teach them how to swim and give them the survival skills. So when they go out to the fleet, they know how to swim and survive on their own where they put in that situation. Every McQuist here is essentially, they are a lifeguard and we know how to recognize if they are showing signs of drowning or if they're uncomfortable in the water before they even get in the water. Those are things we can identify at the same time to teach them and also make them feel as safe as possible. It's probably the safest pool to ever be in because of the amount of lifeguards that we actually have here and the drills that we run weekly and monthly. Um, in first phase, it's very physically demanding. There's a lot of runs, a lot of uh, body weight exercises, just a lot of introduction and then reiteration. They'll do one circuit course and then a couple days later, they'll execute it again knowing what they've already done. Um, the O course is executed a couple times, the confidence course as well, but they're getting a taste of everything. So come second phase, third phase, they, know, they already know what they're doing and they've been introduced. One thing that the Marines are distinguished themselves from the branches, obviously, is their uniforms. So teaching them attention to detail there, that's obviously paramount for us because that's carrying the tradition of attention to detail. But also that attention to detail in the uniform tends to translate to other things that they do. So that's why we stress such a big thing on something so personal like their own uniform. I am certainly humbled and proud to be given the opportunity to lead this effort in uh, moving the Marine Corps forward in terms of integration and really revolutionizing training and preparing the next future generation of Marines for the rigors of combat environments and for really stepping forward in terms of knocking down barriers for all the, of those who think they want to, to come here and, and become a Marine.